Hello and welcome, this is S tier rank, and today I'm going to be playing some more Inscription Casey's mod. I'm going to go ahead and get started here. We'll see if we have better luck than the last couple times. We'll do all totem battles and no boss rares. And I had a pretty good run the past couple times, but made some silly mistakes late in the game, which led to my demise. So we'll see if we can be a little bit better than last time. Okay. Ooh, dam builder. We're gonna take that and we'll take the wolf cub. Because that would allow me to um, get a really nice power really quickly. So we're gonna search for that right away. Um, we'll get the beaver and sacrifice it so that the wolf cub can be dam building and uh, make our god tier dams. <laughs> um, so there we go be awesome if we ended up getting um, wriggling tail as well but I'm not sure if we can let's go ahead and start off with our uh, dams here and yeah we're already flying high here with our team I think nice okay and we can get us a uh, flying ant on the board Okay. Wow. I'm already starting off with a great team. Ooh, bifurcated strike. Yeah, let's go for that since we're about to do another sacrifice. Perhaps I can use that on uh, something powerful. Okay, it won't let me select the, um, the uh, wolf pup just due to um, already having sigils, but what could we do here? Um, I guess bifurcated strike on say the flying ant could be interesting. Um, I think getting it on that would make it even more valuable. Having it move around could be cool. Okay. Another wolf cub. I think it will do that. Good. Hopefully we'll run into a cat here soon and can use them for evil deeds okay I think it's just about game over already doesn't look like they're gonna draw another card there we go I don't think I have a ton of teeth, so I think going for a card pick instead will be better. Hmm. I suppose let's go with the canine. And the dire wolf. Okay. Ah, oh, unkillable. Perfect. Okay. What do we have? Another raven egg and a mole. Well, I guess wolf cub it is. And we'll continue on. Wow, this is such a powerful combo. Alright. I don't think we'll even have time to get our dire wolf out. I mean, we could get it. Um, but I don't think we can sacrifice the dams, unfortunately, so we're going to be stuck. It's the only drawback to this setup. Getting the more powerful cards will be tricky. Oh, 
Okay. I'm going to head towards the uh, woodcarver. Oh, let's see. Perhaps a two blood. Another pronghorn. Okay. Definitely need our sigil booster. Ah, good. We have it. insects. Great. All right, who should I boost up now? Okay. If we got the dire wolf, that would be a lot of strength on the board. Um, wolf cub is pretty overpowered as it is. Um, pronghorn attacks in two directions, but I think I'll go with the dire wolf so that its value of getting played is even more worth it. Okay. First boss battle. It's kind of nice to get the trap around the way since it's so tough. Okay. Unkillable flying ant. We could also get a skunk down that'll block damage. Uh, let's see. Well. Not a lot of good options here. The uh, flying ant will get taken out if it moves out of its spot. The skunk withholds some of the damage. Um, these are all going to be hefty though too. So they're going to um, move around a bit. I think that the strange frog might block the bullfrog. So I'll put the skunk in front of that lane to start. And we will... Oh, I should have done the bone. Whoops. That was a mistake. I meant to play a squirrel and keep that. Oh well. Um, I guess let's put the flying ant down. And it'll move to the right. And maybe actually survive. Leaping trap is going to hit it though. So it'll be gone. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Okay, well their shuffle ended up not really changing a situation much, so let's uh, maybe bust out our pronghorn here, and I think it'll be safe to put right here. Here we go. Fortunately, I think the flying ant might trigger the trap on the pronghorn, but it's going to be down most of its HP anyways. There we go. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's do a tooth pull just to be absolutely certain we're doing okay in that regard. something by our flying ant. Nope, oh, it's going to keep moving out of the way just in time. I think it, it'll be fine. We actually have enough. We could get the ant queen down now. There we go. And that may be enough to get us on to the next phase. Yep. trade. We have two pelts. Hmm, a flying ant gets stronger or a sparrow has uh, the touch of death. However, it's not a big deal since it's airborne anyways. Um, this guy would be not scared of. In fact, just getting rid of this whole lane. The ant queen could do it in one turn. That would be the end of that. Um, Perhaps getting rid of this kingfisher and let's say this worker ant. Um, that'll be alright. 
I don't think I could really go wrong on this one, which is nice. And I could go ahead and play my wolf cub to get it on the board. Um, however, we could also get this worker ant down. And that'll add some severe damage, but I don't have a squirrel. I'm gonna have to sacrifice something else. So I guess we'll keep what we have here for a turn. Okay. Now let's get something down. Let's do a uh, worker ant. Okay, and we'll go ahead and get this one down too. That should win us the match, just about. Okay, it did, and then some. Okay, a cockroach, a cuckoo. And a moose buck. I don't have anything that takes bone yet, so I'm gonna go with the cockroach. I don't particularly need its sigil, but just having something that takes bone is always a good idea. Okay, I could use items, so going to the right seems tempting. Right away, I've got enough teeth that making a trade at the trapper may be a good idea. Um, can't tell what symbol is up in there, so I guess we'll just head to the right. I'm not too interested in sacrificing something for a bone. Alright, let's do another canine, Bloodhound. Ooh, nice. Scissors. And a goat. Cool. That'll be sustainable, I think, for uh, my arsenal. Okay. Got a raven and a sparrow coming in hot. Um, hey, wizard. Let's see. We could play our black goat and get the dire wolf on the board right away. Um... And these have sharp quills too, and they're going to do three damage on their first go if I'm not careful. Um, doing well. I'm uh, having a pretty good run so far. I got a wolf cub with dam builder and um, pretty quickly, so it's uh, been a fast paced game so far. Okay, um, I think that, let's see, they're going to do plus three and I'm only going to get plus one, so we can go one more turn and be okay, but I think I'll have to resort to using the dire wolf on the next turn if we want to win. Alright, um, looks like it's got to be that way, so let's get it on the board like so. And um, that'll be it. Yeah, doing well so far. How are you? Good. This has been a good day for inscription. It's been a tough battle so far, but faring well. <laughs> All right, let's do the skunk there, and that'll give us a chance to get our cockroach on the board. I don't think that we're gonna have to worry about it. Yep. Okay. We have enough to go ahead and go to the trapper. Let's see what we can do. Well, I could get us a golden pelt, and looks like that is all for now, which is fine by me. And um, let's see, we're gonna get one item. Squirrel, bones, or a tooth puller. I think we'll do squirrel. Okay, well we have two pelts we could trade in. 
Um, I think it will head for that. It would be nice to have that going for us. Okay. Oh, a dire wolf pup. That's never good. Um, thinking that I might need to start my pronghorn like over here to have a good chance at coming over and getting it, but it costs two blood, and I kind of hate to have to use a squirrel right away, but I think I'm going to have to. I definitely want to get rid of that dire wolf pup. So we'll do a number like this, and um, I think that'll be it for our first move. Okay. We can uh, block the porcupine a while with our skunk. And we got rid of our dire wolf pup problem. Which looks like it got replaced with a wolf that's going to come up here in a minute. Thanks to the rabbit that's about to get destroyed. Um, I could put a rabbit pelt down though and save the pronghorn and it can attack the wolf a time or two. Oh, okay. So, yeah, not an ideal situation, but I think it was still going to be okay overall. Let's see. Well, in order to win this one, I kind of have to take the wolf over on our side. I'm seeing a great way out of this. Could get the ant queen down and it take out the wolf, however. And that may be enough, actually. I'm not going to get much damage from the porcupine anyways. So let's go for that. It's rough that I have to take out the skunk, but sometimes that's how it goes. Their ant queen is um, ant spawner plus unkillable. So it'll work out. Here we go. Oh, the alpha causing problems for us already. Um, we could get the dire wolf down, but I think that it'll be worth just waiting another turn because the ant queen should hit it and then we can just about replay her in the next turn. There we go. Okay, not a problem. Let's see. There we are, right? And we'll go like this. Okay. And here comes our excess damage. I think we should get eight teeth with this. Excellent. Okay. Let's trade in our pelts. Ah, we could take Corpse Maggots and use its auto-deploy ability. I think that makes the most sense. And... Interesting. So... Don't want to get a Gat Cardo on a try for something like a Ouroboros. Um, Ouroboros is nice, but it's just always hard to get it strong enough quickly enough. If I get it to be 3 and 3, that's nice. It's like slightly better than a wolf. And I do have three bosses left to do, um, so it's tempting. The Gek is just so good. Um, it's a hard pick. Hmm. Well, let's see. I guess we'll do Ouroboros to shake things up a little bit. Maybe we'll get lucky and get to use it a few times. Okay, I don't think I'm too worried about the woodcarver, but I would like to go this duplicate route, so we'll go this way. All right, uh, let's see. I'm not sure I'll be able to really use anything but maybe the pronghorn head, but we'll stick with our unkillable insects for now.
Okay. Another fight. Ooh, pronghorn is also waterborne. That's not good. I need to get something on the board to uh, block against that. Um, it's gonna be doing damage in two directions too. So we could put the skunk in front of it, and at least for a turn, it should not be able to do anything. Um, so that's good. This flying ant and corpse maggots will just have to wait till another turn. Okay, there's an elk fawn that's incoming. Um, tempted to let it do the attack first time so that the mole won't move out of position, um, giving the uh, pronghorn a chance to get up and running somewhere else. Um, however, I could go ahead and play flying ant, and uh, it could take position here and get us some damage on the board at least. The mole's not going to be able to attack that anyways. There we go. Okay. I think I can just keep kind of following that pattern and uh, we may be okay. Okay. Nice. Holding on to that hook a little bit longer than my average, so... Happy about that. Ooh, three blood. Moose buck. All right. What are we gonna duplicate? Let's see. Well, we could have another flying ant that has bifurcated and moves, or a second wolf cub that is a dam builder. That would be really powerful. Um, have two of those in her hand. Another dire wolf that's strong. I could get one that's like six and ten potentially. Um, that would really bring up its value proposition. Let's see. I'm trying to think if there's any other little tricks that might be handy here. Um, hmm. I think I will do another dire wolf and that way we could get the corpse maggots auto deploy on the dire wolf and eventually hopefully get a fungus event sometime after this boss fight okay let's give a little bit of power to somebody um how about our ouroboros so that it'll be a little bit ahead of the wolf when the time comes Hopefully we'll deploy it in this boss fight so that it can um, be useful. I need to get its stats up pretty badly. Okay. Um, from that coyote would be perfect, but I'm not going to have it for a little bit. So I guess let's do um, our skunk in front of it. And that'll be it. Okay. We'll just have to keep drawing cards for a moment. Okay. Let's see. Alright, here's our wolf cub. And it does have um, dam builder. So... It would fortunately perish to the coyote, but actually it will take out the coyote, but it'll perish to the wolf, and that's okay. I think it'll buy us enough time um, with the other things going on with the dams. Dams should be able to take out um, the adder. Well, actually, adder will take it out, but just being able to block this damage for a little bit will be okay. Okay. And let's see, so they have potential to do four damage in this turn, which is enough to actually win. So 
might have to do card cutting to have a chance. I also, I think, play my dire wolf. Um, but I don't have enough room to sacrifice. That's the main problem here. I need that last lane. Um, so let's do a card cut on the wolf. And we will just have to uh, go from there. All right, Ant Queen, we can work with that. All right, and we can also get a worker ant down too. Now we got some power coming out. Oh, another dire wolf. Good. This may push us close to over. Okay. So far so good. And I don't want to play too much power on the board and uh, lose all my cards due to him uh, striking along with the hammer here. So let's see. We have a prime chance to get our Ouroboros um, transformed up here. So. Let's go for it. We'll uh, get rid of those two and put it there. And uh, fortunately, the Hatter's going to do that, but I think when he does the strike for gold, it might count as a uh, death for the Ouroboros. So that's good. See, did it come back stronger? It did. Three and two. Now it's as strong as a wolf. Excellent. Okay. So, I guess getting a possum down is a possibility. Possibility. Um, I really need a lane cleared up, though. Having that bloodhound destroy the gold nugget. Might be enough to uh, get us some stuff on the board, like our Ouroboros. Okay. And we will keep it like that. there's any way to lose now. Um, they're uh, just not going to make enough damage here to uh, make up for my next attack at the Ouroboros. There we go. Okay, looks like we're on a prosperous cycle here. Ah, oh, field mice, which has fecundity. Um, I wonder if there'd be in anybody interesting to play that on. If we could sacrifice it and say put it on this flying ant or something, but it probably won't let me pick that. Maybe the dire wolf. Um, but it's such an expensive card, though. Do have a regular wolf and another moose buck that could be used in the combination um that's a hard one so i guess let's do the field of mice we might see a good spot to use it here in a little bit oh good a cave event all right five bones four blood Four power. I think I'm gonna go with the four power. All right, good. We passed that one with flying ca colors. Oh, a river otter that can be sacrificed. It also has sharp quills. Um, and a turkey vulture. It also has rabbit hole and bees within. Um, 
So that's interesting because it could generate possibly up to four cards. And then corpse maggots that lay down an egg and it's stinky. Um, so that's pretty wild. Let's see. I think I'll go with the river otter because having that sacrifice ability would be awesome. And I don't see a lot of reason to go up that way. I mean, we could get items. I could get items that way too, though. Could get items and then go to the trapper and then do a sigil swap. I think that'll be a wise way to go about it. Ooh, a turn skip and a pair of scissors. Wow. I think I've hit the jackpot. Thank you. This round is feeling good. I'm feeling lucky. Just need to move slow and consider everything. Last time I moved a little too fast and lost out of excitement. <laughs> All right, I think it's time to put down our wolf cub. Mantis is a little bit of an issue, but um, since it doesn't strike forward, that's not a huge problem. Let's just take it like this and we'll take having one dam as our um, setup here. Okay. Alright. Looks like they're going to rush us with a whole bunch of um, insects. There we go. That'll take out that lane. I don't think that they'll be able to recover from this uh, current pace. All right, good. That's enough excess damage too that I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get us a golden pelt. Okay. All right, excellent. And that's it. All right, sigil swap. Let's see what we have. All right. So, Fukunubi, I wonder what would be worth putting that on. I feel like that might lead to something prosperous. Um, putting on a high value card seems a little bit risky, however. Um, hmm. Let's do start with that Let's see what else we have here well having another Ouroboros would be pretty nice because um, it is only two blood and if I can keep it getting stronger maybe it'll be um, totally worth it here in a little bit Maybe this round I'll have it get sacrificed. All right, some auto deploy corpse maggots. We have a rattler and a bullfrog coming in too. Um, fortunately, the rattler will be able to take out the dams LA with the wolf cub. However, I think that that's just the way we're gonna have to let it go. Um, and I'd like to go ahead and block that bullfrog just so we don't have any damage after our first turn. I think that we'll be able to uh, dominate the playing field with the, everything else we have now. Okay. There we go. Alright, so we have a cave event, a trade-in event, Power up, sigil swap. Um, I don't really have a sigil that I want to do per se, and I'm not too interested in the cave event. I think I'd rather go this route than anything else. Okay, beehive. Be nice to get some more insects where we could get a, another flying ant. Um, I'm always afraid about 
how quickly they perish. Mantis has bifurcated attack. We could try putting it on one of the um, dire wolves. That would be cool to see. I think that I'll go with that actually. And then let's see a bellist with the douse. And I wonder what the chimes do. Like, I wonder if they have a special ability. And a mantis god. Ooh. Let's do that. Maybe we can get lucky and be able to put it on uh, something else. Okay. Attack power up. Um, now we could put that on the mantis god. And that would have um, quite a bit of power. So that'd be six damage. Um, let's see what else we have. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that this is calling to me. Um, hmm. I guess we'll let's do the Mantis God. This is too tempting. We may end up sacrificing it in the end. Or I might try to do bifurcated attack um, in co combination with its trifurcated attack or something silly. We'll just see what happens here in a few minutes when we get to the sacrifice table. Alright, mud turtle and a flying ant. Um, we could use a wolf cub to block off the mud turtle. So I think that we will do so. Okay, and I'm just going to have to deal with that um, flying ant doing a little bit of damage for the moment. Okay, and... Let's see here. How about we get another card and we will make the flying ant. Actually, the mud turtle will not have power or as much power. Um, we're going to get three, four damage. Um, and then that's going to take off one, so three. So, not ideal because that mud turtle is also going to come in and take out my wolf. Um, I'm tempted to skip a turn because. They may end up overwhelming me, but let's just see how this goes. Mud turtle is so strong. This takes a wolf right out. It's kind of crazy. Um, Bloodhound. We could get it on the board by playing uh, the cockroach and sacrificing it with the skunk, but that seems risky. I think I'm going to instead go after the flying ant. And, um, ooh, I really hate to have to cut a turn out. So this is not going to do, well, actually the dam's not going to block it because it's airborne. I don't think it does airborne blocking. Um, it does have attack power, so it should take it out, however. And the mud turtle is going to do two damage if I don't put something in front of it. So they're going to do plus two um, nothing, but then this guy's going to come in and do something. So one plus three. Let's just go ahead and end the turn. We'll see how it goes. I don't have to win this one anyways. Okay. And a moose buck. Um, I think I might be in a little deep, but if I can cut this card, maybe we'll have a in a set here that I can get past things. Um, Bloodhound could strike here and then move in front of something else perhaps. Let's see. I had to sacrifice a lot though. Um, I may also have to skip a turn. I just really don't want to lose my candle for um, the next boss round. So Let's see. I guess we'll do the Bloodhound. And it almost gets us another cockroach back. Okay. There we go. And don't have enough to play anything else. Um, just go ahead and pull the Mud Turtle over. I think I would rather use up my items and this be, you know, set without having to worry about things. Um, have my candle for the next match. 
Let's see. And the pronghorn. Okay. Um, not much we can do with that. Their wriggling legs are kind of getting in the way. Okay. Let's see. The mud turtle is out of its shell. Um, I can just about get us the moose buck on the board. In fact, I could. I think I could take out the mud turtle in a couple hits. Um, I think I would sacrifice enough to also get the cockroach on the board, too. So let's go for that. There we go. And we can get the cockroach on the board and sacrifice it for the pronghorn. There we go. Almost had enough to play the cockroach again. Alright, an unkillable ant queen. Um, let's see. So that mud turtle is going to get two on us. Um, pronghorn is going to get one damage for us. And that'll be it. Um, sadly, it looks like I want to lose this anyways. Uh, let me think. Could sacrifice the pronghorn. That's not enough to get it anything on the board, though. <laughs> so... Wow, I think that they're still going to win, even with all that extra setup. May have just misplaced it. I did change the name a little bit. Glad you noticed. I took your advice. <laughs> I was a little bit more specific. Uh, let's see. Okay, well, I think I'm just going to have to lose this one. I don't think that I'll come back. Oh, the dam saved me. Okay. Well, maybe not. The worker ant's still going to do a lot of damage here. Okay. Um, let's see. So the moose buck will take out this column. The pronghorn will do plus one. And it'll do a little damage on the worker ant. Actually, a worker ant will flee. And then it'll hit this spot um, for two, which I can't really take. Um, we don't have enough for the cockroach and the ant queen. Well, it could be deployed, and that might be enough to um, sustain the creation of the cockroach. Yep. And then I can sacrifice the cockroach so the worker ant can be played. And yeah, there we go. It's looking a little bit better now. Oh no, okay. So worker ants are really um, putting it against me like hard. So let's see. Okay, I think I turned this around. This was a really hard one. Um, so we can put squirrel down, sacrifice the worker ant, and cockroach. We could just do that. We'll display the cockroach. And um, we're going to get plus four. And then that's going to move around. I think that we're going to be okay. All right. Ah, and here's our river otter, which we can make multiple sacrifices for and like play our ink queen. So let's do something like that. There we go. And yeah. Okay. Got all the teeth on the scales. It's crazy. All right. So I think it will just ring the bell. And that'll be it. That was ridiculously hard. Um, sigil swaps. Yeah, let's go for it. Because if we could get bifurcated, trifurcated strike like we were talking about in previous streams, that would just be amazing. We got another corpse maggot. So 
Um, an auto deploy may also be a wise decision. Um, it looks like I can do bifurcated, trifurcated though. Um, I wonder what the odds of actually pulling that card would be. But maybe we'll go for it. Uh, let's see. Actually, if I did bifurcate, trifurcate on the Mantis God and it only cost one blood. Maybe that would be the better way to do things. Um, so we'll take the Dire Wolf's ability, perhaps, and put it on the Mantis God. A little bit, a little bit out there, but I think that that might be a wiser decision overall. Let's see if it works. Okay. Alright, we'll just stick with what we have had all along. I think it's doing really well. Alright, next boss fight. We don't have any items, so um, this will be a tough one. I think it's an angler too, which is always just awful. Two bait buckets already on the screen too. Hey, we got our mantis god um, with the bifurcated, trifurcated. Um, fortunately, it's going to hit one of the bait buckets if it's played. So, but it should do enough damage to get us to the next phase right away. Um, so, I think it'll be okay. Um, we can put a smoke down in front of this just in case. There we go. Wow. I'm so glad that I chose to do things this way. Okay. Um, let's see. Now the second phase might be where things fall apart, however. Um, definitely aware of that possibility. I think it is going to fall apart. Yep. We do have our Mantis God who's back and ready to play. So they're gonna do so much damage though. I do have a cockroach that can block some of the attack, but not all of it. Um, it does have the bifurcated, trifurcated though. So I think that I have to be able to win this. Like I can't, I can't see how it'll fail. Just uh, a little nerve-wracking, I think. So we should do two, four, six, eight damage. Yeah, it's over. Okay. Wow. Man, I'm so glad I decided to sacrifice that dire wolf on onto the mantis god like that. That's pretty overpowered. Okay. Um, let's go with Adder, I suppose. Maybe we will, I think I'll need to go get items um, more than anything else. I'm afraid to uh, take it any other direction. Don't need wood carver. Don't have any pelts. And I could do a sigil swap, but I'm pretty good with my current system. I think if I don't have items, I think I might really be in trouble. So let's go with items. Okay, card cutting. Card cutting. Why not card cutting? <laughs> All right, here we go. Final boss time. Let's see how it goes. Try to take it slowly and uh, make less mistakes, hopefully. Okay. Let's see. Ah, Mantis God, it's an attack with a wriggling tail as well. Um, sounds like a 
perfect job for our wolf cub, even though we would lose it right away. Um, let's see, what else could we do? Could get... Let's see, I don't think having our pronghorn makes a lot of sense. Um, I guess the wolf cub... The mole man will block it too. Yeah. That's right. Okay. The mole man should block that last dam, fortunately. Thank you for the well wishes. Hopefully this will go right. Um, and we could play Flying Ant to uh, do a little bit more damage. Um, however, I just don't know if it's going to be enough, so let's just keep what we have here. Okay. And so fortunately the prospector is going to hit all my cards. Um, so I'm tempted to cut. However, don't know if it'll matter. Let's just draw a squirrel. coming in as well. So let's see what do we want to do here. This is so hard. Um, if I draw from here there's a chance I might get another card that would be useful for this situation but I can't even play like my pronghorn per se without getting into some trouble here. So I'm tempted to do something else. Um, I can do some card cutting. This is, all right, Ouroboros, can that help us? We do have Fecunity if we can get it on the board. Um, and I could do some card cutting as well. Let's see, an amalgam, it's going to be a problem, and this mantis god is also going to be a problem. So, if I could cut out these two, or at least cut off this one mantis god, we might be looking a little bit better. However, the Ouroboros is going to die um, due to the mantis god and the mantis striking. Um, let's see what it'll let me cut. I think it'll let me cut only the first two rows. And it won't let me... Yeah, it won't let me cut the back, so... Well... Let's see... Pronghorn does attack in two directions. It could survive this Mantis God's first attack. So I'm somewhat tempted to put it down instead of the Ouroboros. And the Amalgam plus the Mantis God are going to get... Um, how much damage on me? They're going to get one, four damage on me. I think almost no matter what I do, unfortunately. So... Let's see. Hmm. Pretty sure I can sacrifice the smoke, but I'm not positive. I'm a little bit scared to play it. And that ends up messing something up. But let's see if I can. Let's see if I can. Um, yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay, good. I was a little bit worried it wouldn't work. Yeah, yeah, I do have a lot of scissors. I'm uh, pretty lucky in that regard for this match because I think I want to need them. Um, let's let's see about cutting something actually. 
we'll cut off this Mantis God and that'll keep our defense a little bit. This Pronghorn um, will do one damage or I could cut this other Mantis and that'd do two damage. Um, and they're going to do four otherwise and I think it might be dangerous to let them do that much. So maybe I should cut that Mantis as lame as that is. Um, it might be for the best. Maybe we'll cut that amalgam too. It just really depends on what they send out after me here. Oh, angler. Okay. Um, in that case, we could have the amalgam get dragged away and instead cut the mantis god. Okay. go. Alright, so I don't want the pronghorn destroying that, so I might sacrifice something else to get the Ouroboros on the board. So let's do just that. Okay, and I think that's all I want to do for the moment. So that is not a good situation. They have so much power. Um, the Ouroboros is going to take down phase one though. It, that might move it off the board. I'm not positive. Um, flying Ant can get us two damage as well without hurting anything. But I'm wondering if I should save up this second Ouroboros. Um, hmm. I guess let's save up and see what happens when we go into the next phase. It could be a mistake, but they're playing pretty tough on me here, so I'm not looking like I'm in the best situation, <laughs> no matter what. All right. Um, so this David has two attack power, which is enough to kill my Ouroboros. Um, I could get the flying ant down or put the Ouroboros over in that lane, um, which would be okay, but this one is going to get killed too, so neither of these situations are looking all that great. Um, something, I know something's going to get sent down that lane, so maybe putting Flying Ant down to absorb as David's first attack might make some sense. This feels like a little bit of potential misplay, but let's see what happens. Okay. Alright, trading time. Let's see, David costs two. The adder is going to come out and take out our gold nugget. The possum also has touch of death, so, oh, that's not good, hmm, getting rid of the David card might be wise, I can play the possum with its attack as well, and its touch of death, because I definitely had the bone for it, okay, This could end up working. Kevin won't be able to get away since it won't be able to drop its tail. And I can get another Ouroboros started to take out the Adder. Um, okay, I think just getting another Squirrel and we can play the Possum against Kevin to clear it out. And Ouroboros on the Adder. So, um, let's do like so. We'll play the one that generates another Ouroboros first, just to have it, and play our um, possum. Let's see, I think we do want to take out Kevin 
um, taking out this lane, I feel like it will just kill the possum and immediately open it up for plus four attack. So we don't want to do that. Um, fortunately, I don't have any cards in hand that are strong enough to fully remedy the situation. So we're just going to have to take plus two here. And uh, yeah, I think this is the best I can do. So we'll get plus one thanks to having the flying ant. Now we have the prospector coming in just when we're starting to look like we had a chance. Um, let's see what we draw now. So Ouroboros can't take out David in one hit. This Daniel card is also going to be a problem. Louis is not a big deal. Um, I wish I could get... I could swap positions and have enough on here that Ouroboros hit these open spots um, if I sacrifice things carefully I think so I could put out a squirrel and sacrifice the possum and an Ouroboros to get plus four and then the flying ant would be plus five but I can also sacrifice it and the other Ouroboros to get another one down so let's do this piece on piece. Okay. Here we go. And now we'll do the same but over here. All right. And um, that puts us at 10 on the board. And that should get us to the next phase and delay our um, prospector hitting us. Because now we are in the moon phase. Okay. Good. Okay. Feeling like we have a chance here. I've been holding my breath. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Could get flying ant down. Um, fortunately, our attack here is going to be rough. I don't think we get don't get uh, teeth on the board, we just have to take out the moon, and they're only going to do 10 damage each. Um, so that's not enough. So, let's see, four turns. Um, I can't get flying ant down though. I was trying to think of how it's going to go. I think it just has to be something like this. Okay. Oh, actually, it just attacks animals. It doesn't add teeth. Okay. Good. So, yeah. I guess we just ring the bell, and I'll try drawing from the other pile. Maybe we'll get something else we can play here in a minute. Um, oh, we could get the moose back down. Okay. Um, let's see, there's also the adder, but that's not going to matter. So, yeah, just for funsies, we could put our uh, flying ant down. And um, we're going to over damage it. We could sacrifice. Oh, yeah, we don't want to do that. I think that'll be game over. <laughs> so, let's just do this. Okay. Here we go. We got it. And uh, we could even play a mantis for fun, but I think this is it. Nice. Oh man, I had 18 misplays and I still won. <laughs> All right, victory. That was tough. 166 cards drawn and most skills damage in one turn 11 55 scrolls harm 75 sacrifices made all right entry number five i'm addicted to leshy's inscription it's far from perfect though some really unbalanced shit in there to be honest i have my uroboros up to over 100 thanks to the stupidly broken infinity sigil combo 
nice. <laughs> I decided that I'm going to work on making this balanced and maybe a bit of an actual challenge. I'm making a mod. I wonder what Leshy will think. Cards unlocked. Millworm. When Millworm is sacrificed, it adds its stats values to the card it was sacrificed for. Ah, oh, interesting. So I sp suppose that that gives two defense, perhaps, unless it's been knocked down. Well, that sounds like a fun card. The new starter deck. Oh, wow. So a um, Mantis God, along with two Ringworms. Let me see what all else the Ringworms can be used for, because I've heard that they're useful. I know you can poison the uh, fire dudes, but I don't know what else they can be used for. New challenge mode. Uh, more difficult. More and stronger opposing creatures in all battles, plus 15 challenge points. Oh, man. So let's see what our next one is going to require. Um, we'll just stick with our normal 60 points. All right. So more difficult, more difficult. So these are just exact same, but with um, 15 points each. So even if I put that on in our next turn, um, I mean, I still have so many more points to add on to make it to 60. Wow. That's going to be hard to beat. Um, but I think that's all I have time for today. So we'll just go ahead and roll credits instead. Say thanks for watching. It's been S tier rank. You can follow me on Twitch and Twitter at S tier rank. I'll have a replay up on YouTube soon. Thanks and have a good one.